Okay, so hi, yeah. uh, my Thank name you so much. From night. Thank you, Bissala, for coming and sharing that. Yeah, okay, so you're talking to us about yeah. um, the fact that you went to law school. Yeah. You were actually called to Bali practice. Yeah, practice, yeah. Practice. Yeah. About today, who you are today. Yeah. What happened? What was the correlation? What happened? <laughs> So it, it's always been odd first for me, you know, okay. as a child growing up in Nigeria. But you know, growing up with Nigerian parents, like my dad was always like, so this art thing is it's like your hobby, you know? This is not a real thing, you know, you like get a real job. And he was pretty much so concerned that I wouldn't make anything of my art. Okay. So I mean it, it was frustrating because I knew at early age, I think I knew I had a gift, but you know, I just had to, you know, do the you know, normal, normal route, go to what does your dad think though? Yeah. What? What does your dad think though? Now, oh, now he's one of my biggest fans. Uh -huh. He tells everybody like, Nigeria, oh, period. you know, like, ah, it's my son, you know, I trained him. <laughs> he's a lawyer or he's a lawyer, you know. He still he mentions, he mentions that. that I trained okay. him, he went to law school. <laughs> so he's always first that first, you know. Because for the moment I was an artist, every time I was an artist for him, it was like a failure before I made like big breaks. But for me, I've never felt more alive in my life than this, you know? Because I think I'm able to connect to a wider audience. I'm able to work with people, like stand in rooms with like one of the best people, best people in the world and just be able to advocate. And also being able to use the art as a medium, you know? And this art is cultural, it's who we are as a people. It has identity, it's super black. Is super Nigerian, super Yoruba. So it's pretty much like it's out there. I'm pretty much elevating this art to a level where people have not seen it before. So I'm pretty excited to do that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think is missing between uh, the the art scene in Nigeria uh -huh. and the one in the States? I know you moved in 2013. 2013, yes. 2013, sir. and you're there for. Yeah. What do you think is the one thing that is missing between both both worlds? Both worlds. Yes. Hmm. One. Tools. One of the major things that like I struggled with is you know some of the tools that I used to work with you know um, we don't have enough variety of tools to work with artists and the artist is as good as the tools you give them honestly and I think if more young people were exposed to a lot variety of tools I think people would do a lot more you know um, secondly I think attitude is changing now people's attitude is beginning to change. And people would look at that like, oh, who's going to use that? Who likes that? You know, that's to this, you know. And there's this over generalization, generalization of you know, pop or mainstream, okay. of people think that it's just this one thing that's going to make you successful in life. It's just like you know, people who make music who look at like possibly, um, whiskey is amazing, but not everybody sounds like whiskey. And there's a lot of music out there in Nigeria that does not sound like that, you know. So I think people should look deeply in what they're like. What it is do I have that's unique, even in Nigeria, that stands out, you know, that makes me unique and like kind of like exposes me to a large more of like people who want to take advantage of that, okay. you know. So I think that's what is basically, I think, attitude, you know, and it's changing because we're beginning to change that. People are beginning to see what is possible. Look at this Belvedere bottle, the vodka bottle, for example. Now people are going to drink off this bottle and when they're drinking out of it, they feel a connection to it. Like, okay. we know where this comes from. They know. Back home, that's why I really wanted to come to Nigeria to actually bring this bottle here to show people that, yo, this is ours and we can do this. That means we can do a lot of more stuff Got with everything. what we have. Yes, definitely. But most important, yeah. the tools have to be there. Have to be there. Have to be there. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is the last question. How yeah. do you respond to people who say, yo, uh, this, this is, you call it the sacred art of the Ori. The sacred art of the Ori, yeah. Ori and it's yeah. Afro. Afro mysterious. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So how do you yeah. respond to people who say it is played out? Because uh, I was reading stories and looking at stuff you had done, and yeah. I, was, I noticed some comments. Yeah. You said there is nothing special in what you're doing; it's just scribbling. <laughs> you understand? How do you how do you respond to those people who say you know, it's laid out and uh, you've been doing this for a while? Right. What, what's going to happen? What next? I, I tell them that yo, you want to do it, get a pen and try to do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> See how it looks. Okay. I mean, it's, it's nothing more than that. Yeah. And the thing is, a lot of thought goes into it. You know, and um, I tell people a lot of times that it's not just, you know, scribbling or uh, there's a lot, like this bottle, for example. When you look at it, for example, there's a triangle. Okay. And these triangles are taken from patterns in Yoruba fabric okay. and also sculptures. When we use a three-sided figure in Yoruba, we call it meta. Meta is a symbol of perfection, also unity, and also balance. Arometa is a tripod. Yes. On your bed, to bad grocery, I remember I could keep down bed. Like, 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 that's his balance. Okay. And that's what is here. It's a balance between rye and water, okay. which is the ingredients of the vodka. Okay, so thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much. I wish I had a lot of time.